In the name of God and prayers and peace be upon the messenger of God. We arrived at the words of God Almighty. Then when they entered his presence, they said, Mighty governor, adversity has afflicted us and our family, and we have brought scant merchandise. But give us full measure and be charitable towards us. Allah rewards the charitable. We said that poverty, misery, and famine were evident in the form and words of the sons of Jacob. They addressed the governor helplessly and told him how the long drought had caused misery and illness to all of Jacob's family and poverty had become so severe for them that they had brought goods of little value from the Levant that were not suitable to buy the supplies they wanted. Then they asked the governor to give them an ample share of supplies out of charity and generosity. And God will not forget this deed he did to them, but will reward him well for what he did. These broken words that conveyed the difficult situation the family of Jacob, peace be upon him, was going through, broke Joseph's heart and mobilized his intense emotion, so he revealed himself to his brothers. In the following two verses, he said, do you realize what you did with Joseph and his brother in your ignorance? They said, is that you, Joseph? He said, I am Joseph and this is my brother. Allah has been gracious to us. He who protects himself and perseveres, Allah never fails the reward of the virtuous. When Jacob's sons came to Egypt, they had hoped that Joseph would be alive because of their father's command to them to search for him and their other brother. The other thing is that Joseph's story is hidden between them. Their father and Joseph and the rest of the people do not know about it. Therefore, when the governor asked them what they had done to Joseph and his brother, they immediately knew that it was Joseph. So they said to him, is that you, Joseph? And Joseph, peace be upon him, confirmed that to them. He said, I am Joseph and this is my brother. Allah has been gracious to us. He who protects himself and perseveres, Allah never fails the reward of the virtuous. We note that when Joseph reminded them of what they had done to him and his brother, he concluded his statement with the phrase, in your ignorance, and this is from his virtue and generosity as he excused them for their ignorance. Then we notice that Joseph, peace be upon him, linked God's favor and blessings to him with the virtue of patience, piety, and benevolence. Piety accompanied Joseph, peace be upon him, in the house of the governor, with the women in prison, and in the position in which he dealt with the needy and the poor. In addition to many morals that he possesses, such as honesty, wisdom, knowledge, benevolence, strong memory, determination to achieve the goal, and others. In the following two verses, they said, By Allah, Allah has preferred you over us, and we were at fault. He said, There is no blame on you today. Allah will forgive you. He is the most merciful of the merciful. Jacob's sons admitted their mistake before their brother Joseph. Peace be upon him. Here, Joseph, peace be upon him, teaches us an important lesson about pardon and forgiveness and about tolerance in our relationships with relatives, friends, and with all human beings. With a few beautiful words, Joseph, peace be upon him, removed huge worries from the hearts of his brothers and brought down the curtain on that black history including its sorrows, separation, and tragedies, and prayed to God for forgiveness and mercy for them. In